excess Harder, better, faster, stronger That, 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 that don't kill me Can only make me stronger I need you to hurry up now Cause I can't wait much longer I know I got to be right now Cause I can't get much stronger Man, I've been waiting all night now That's how long I've been on ya Hey guys, what is going on? It is the Sports Master. We're back for another episode of Braves Baseball. This time it's the off-season episode. We're going to go look at all the off-season moves. As you get a look at the stats, we had some pretty good years from some people. Of course, we traded for Pedroy. He ended up being really good. Freddie Freeman is always really good. Yasmani Tomas, uh, he did really good. He ended up being second in rookie of the year to Archie Bradley of Arizona. But he was a really good trade for us. Mark Kekas, he was okay. Hit about 10 home runs. Simmons, great defensively. Bethancourt, I wish he would have done better. But, I mean, he's, just, he's learning. He's only 22. And, of course, at the top of the lineup, Eric Young Jr. did better than expected. Hudson was a real surprise. Alex Wood and Shelby Miller both had outstanding years. Matt Whistler, not Winsler. You know, he was solid for that last month. And Fulte, he did pretty good. Our bullpen was probably our weakest spot this year. We really did a good job securing our position players with some of the trades we made. Of course, in the beginning, Jace Peterson, who was our second baseman, he was a question mark. He ended up being really good, or he ended up, we ended up trading for Joy, and that was really good. Kelly Johnson, he played really good in left field, hit about 15 home runs, 220-something average. That was good for him. But the bullpens really where it struggled. Now, one man that really turned it around was Jason Grilly. Coming into the offseason, he had an ERA of about five and a half, and I was about to replace him. But he ended up lowering that to about three and a half ERA by the end of the season, a little bit above three and a half. He ended up winning the Reliever of the Year award with, I believe, 59 saves, something crazy like that. So Jason really, really turned his season around. Guys like Luis Avalon and Jim Johnson disappointed me. But as you see, the Cardinals won the World Series against the Tigers. So, Cardinals, they're a dynasty, man. They've been doing good the last couple years. We're going to advance to the offseason. We're going to look at the retirees. You see a couple guys, Orlando Cruz, Travis Mattier, Andrew Robinson. Nobody really for us. A lot of our guys are young. And we got the guys that you know are really going to happen, like David Ortiz, Ari Dickey, some of the older guys. Ichiro retired, although he might play another season in real life. I think he, he really believes that he can play for a couple more years. Scott Atchison retired, going down the list. A lot of these are just minor leaguers. Joe Nathan, a closer, retired. I think J.C. Bosque was on the Braves at one point or another. So, yeah, just a lot of minor league players. Torrey Hunter ended up retiring. So, good for him. He ended up going out with the Twins. But, I mean, there, there's not a ton of retirements this year as we got on the line. Chi-Chi Gonzalez, I think he was – he. I know he's really good in real life. I don't know if he's really good in this game. But he, he ended up retiring because of an injury, so that's bad for him. Bartolo Colon finally hung it up. We got some more just minor leaguers. I think that was about it. It's some of the bigger guys. You have some guys like Randy Choate and things like that. Rafael Betancourt and Troy Hawkins. But most of the guys, you know, are expected to retire every year in the game. Of course, every year, Dale Ortiz and Ichiro get elected to the Hall of Fame the first year. So that happened. You see free agents. Just a couple people that didn't get signed. So, yeah, there, there we go. David Ortiz, Ichiro. Ichiro, man, that's just amazing to think. You know, he came over from Japan and he played 15 years and he still got 13 or almost 3,000 hits. So we speed this part up. We're signing our team. And basically, in the first year, you have to re-sign your whole farm system. Just sign the guys that have never gotten any major league experience. Like one year, $80,000 contracts. And, you know, we as long as we have the money, we're basically going to retain most of our team, at least the important parts, because really most of our team were guys that, you know, have less than six years of experience. If you don't know in the MLB, if you have less, you, you're not a true free agent until you have more than six years of major league experience. So most of our guys didn't have that, so we could resign, resign them or use arbitration. Some names that we didn't resign, we didn't resign Johnson. 
He's getting older. We did re-sign Grilly because he's going to be our closer. He was the reliever of the year. Worst case scenario, you know, he drops off and he becomes a middle reliever. Uh, we did not sign Kelly Johnson. Um, he did pretty good for us, but I want to explore my options. My thinking was, let's see what kind of outfitters we have to kind of get a better person for that. And if not, we can always re-sign Johnson, you know, no big deal. And also, you know, we didn't re-sign older guys like Chen Ming Wong, who spent some time with the Major League Club. He's in his late 30s. Let him go. We re-signed pretty much everybody else that was important. So as you see, everybody accepts. Oh, he's there. He's uh, so we can look at the awards. The John Carlos won. Stanton won the MVP. Kershaw, Cy Young, three years in a row. McCutcheon won the batting title. Jason Grilly, as we said, run the reliever of the year. So the first two reliever of the years go to Braves pitchers. Archie Bradley just beat out Yasmani Tomas. They were going back and forth. Tomas, like, I, the Nationals episode, like, six games to go, I think he was leading. You see Freeman and Pedroia win gold gloves. So, of course, Angela Simmons, he's sweeping gold gloves. So we got some good defenders. Yelich goes back-to-back -back in gold gloves as well. Posey, I don't know why they said Posey was a closing pitcher. I don't know if we, I don't think we had any silver sluggers. I would think, I, I thought that maybe Pedroia would have gotten the silver slugger because there's not a lot of hit, good hitting second baseman, but Neil Walker won it. See, postseason MVP goes to John Jay as they win. Steven Piscotti wins the playoff MVP. We got American League. You see, Cabrera wins the MVP. Felix Hernandez wins the Cy Young. Ryan Rua of the Rangers wins Rookie of the Year. Cabrera with the Hank Aaron. Gold Glove. Duffy Perez sweeps it again. Mark Teixeira wins it. I thought that was kind of odd. Pedroia, he would have swept Gold Glove if he was still with the Red Sox. He got it three straight years in a row. Just won him in the National League. And you got some guys that you know are good lovers. Mike Trout sweeping it. Man, Mike Trout's just a beast. Anyways, we go, we're, we're going to finish off looking at these people. And as you see, we're going into the offseason. We really need to work on some relievers. So I think we offered a contract to Nick Massett. I don't know if it happened right here, but we did offer it. He did not accept. We're going to go look at left fielders, Alex Gordon. I'd really love to get Alex Gordon. But as you see, we only have $6 million in budget to work with. So we're going to offer a two-year, $7 million contract to Will Venable. See if he responds. I think that's what we offer. We may have restructured it. Yeah, we, we bumped it up because I really wanted to get Will Venable, so we ended up offering two years, 7.6. Yeah, so we offered Massett, and then that guy just didn't resign with us. Or, I mean, I, he, he was on our team. I think he ended up resigning. He just didn't do it yet. So we're trying to restructure an offer to Nick Massett. See if we can get some more bullpen help. Looking at some starters to maybe not to start for us, obviously, because we have a lot of good starters. We actually have six starters. We're going to see if we can get a solution, maybe trade one away. But we're seeing if that we can have a guy that come out of the pen that is technically a starter. We end up offering a contract to Joaquin Benoit, who is still pretty good, even though he's 38. He's going to decline just a one year deal. Maybe come out of middle relief, maybe set up Jason Grilly. You see, Will Venable accepts the contract. So, Will Venable, we are a new left fielder the next year. And with this one, we ended up trying to trade Daniel Hudson, which we ended up being successful in. I mean, Mike Miner um, entering surgery this year, so he missed all of 2015. But he's going to be our ace of the staff, Mike Miner. So he's coming back. So we have Miner, Shelby Miller, Alex Wood, Mike Polchinevich, and Matt Whistler, and Daniel Hudson. And all of those are guys in the 80s above. So we're going to see if we can get some help. We ended up making a trade with our rival. Miami Marlins, not that one. We ended up getting the one for A.J. Ramos. So Ramos, 81 overall B. He ends up giving us some really good bullpen help. He's going to set up Grilly. I think there was also a B potential shortstop and maybe a B potential second baseman. I don't know. We ended up going back and accepting it. Yeah, I know Austin Dean left fielder. So we, we, we get in a couple good prospects. And then we get a really good reliever. So we need a backup. We're going to get a backup outfielder. I want to get one that's not... Um, just one of our creative guys in the low 60s. So we're seeing if we can get Tony Gwynn Jr., then we send forward. We get ready, ready for the roster, contracts, offer people contracts. Then we're going to go to the Rule 5 draft, see if we can pick up anybody. See, nobody's picking in the Rule 5 draft. So we're looking, there's Yvonne Nova, 29, 77. If there was any other 
series, I would probably get Ivan Nova, but as we said, we have five guys above the 80s. Thinking about maybe, get, maybe getting Blake Parker. But as we go over here, we're going to see James Jones. 27, 72 overall B potential. Speedy, kind of like EYJ, but a better hitter. And we're going to draft him. So normally with the Rule 5 draft, the deal is it's people that aren't on the 40-man roster. That's the only person we take. And you have to keep them on your roster the whole year or they're just released. As we, we're going to cancel our contract with Tony Wood Jr. But actually there was a glitch, or maybe it wasn't a glitch, maybe I didn't do something right. But he actually was a free agent, as you see Joaquin Benoit does not resign. So when we went to the beginning of the year, he was in the free agent pool. So we went and signed him. So as that's pretty much the offseason, just some minor moves. We don't have a lot of money. We're focusing on building up guys, so I'm going to read you the roster for opening day. So our lineup is going to be uh, from first to ninth, the first to eighth. Eric Young Jr. playing center. Dustin Rejoy at second. Freddie Freeman at first. Josmani Tomas at third. Nick Marquez in right. Will Venable in left. Angel and Simmons at short. And Christian back in court catching. Our bench players will be Corban Joseph as a utility man. Kevin Smith will be the backup catcher. Elmer Reyes will be an infielder who can play short and second. James Jones in the outfield. And also che Chevy Clark in the outfield. Our starting rotation from first to fifth will be Mike Miner, Shelby Miller, Alex Wood, Mike Polchinovich, and Matt Winsler. And our bullpen long relieving will be Eric Cordier, middle relieving Shea Simmons, middle relieving Donnie Veal, middle relieving Luis Avalon, setting up in the seventh inning Hector Rondon, setting up in the eighth inning AJ Ramos, and closing the 2015 reliever of the year, Jason Grilly. So that's our roster. Not really much different, but hey, it's not like we needed to fix a ton. We got some bullpen help. We got a good left fielder. And that's going to wrap it up. So we're going to see what we can do against the Philly Zone. But anyway, have a good day, guys. Peace.